having a lisp is such a freaking struggle. Being asked to say stuff like, silly sausages are sailing. Even the word lisp is lispy. <laughs> What is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about how I have struggled with my lisp since I was basically a toddler and how it affects my acting. If you are here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and for channel updates, here is my Instagram, here is my username. So also, please stick around until the end of this video to learn about how I corrected my lisp, even though it's still there a little. You will not want to miss that. So I had a pacifier until I was nine years old. Here's a ridiculous picture of me when I was eight years old with the pacifier in my mouth with my little brother. It was absolutely ridiculous, but the problem is I had it when I was a baby and then I was just so attached to it and my mom could never take it away from me because I couldn't sleep. I would cry and scream and everything. My whole family thought it was the greatest thing ever when I was really young to ha have me have a pacifier because there would be like 10 of them in my bed and I would just wake up and I wouldn't like ever cry because I would just reach out and pop one in my mouth and go right back to sleep. So everyone thought it was great, but really I think my mom would rather trade some sleepless nights for like years of like orthodontics and um, speech training. You might not think that the pacifier would be related to a lisp, but it was because when you have a pacifier, that little, here I'll put a picture, that little plastic part goes in between your teeth. Here is a picture of what I'm talking about. It basically created a space between my teeth, which I do not have anymore because of orthodontic work, but basically it corrected my open bite, which is what they call it. And it made my lisp worse than it is now because my tongue would go through it like that. Here's another picture and it would make it so that all my S's sounded like this. And that's obviously a lisp and it's not good to have. I had my pacifier until I was nine years old. Eventually, because of orthodontic work, I had to wean myself off of it when I was nine. And by the way, I didn't have a pacifier like when I, during the day, I, I just slept with the pacifier, but technically I did have a pacifier until I was nine years old. Here are some funny pictures of me with the pacifier when I was younger, right here. <laughs> and right here and um here is a, one of my very first acting headshots and you can very clearly see the space in between my teeth and how it really affected me eventually when i was nine as i was saying i had to wean myself off of the pacifier because my mom took me for orthodontic work my pediatrician recommended it everyone was saying if she wants to be an actress if she wants to like grow up and have a good like speech and um, have a good teeth arrangement, then she needs orthodontic work. Also, some of my teeth are a little crooked. I might be getting braces later on in my teens. My orthodontist, he's amazing. He basically told me that, that he was going to start with an expander um, and a tongue trainer. And basically, the expander was going to help adjust my like jaw arrangement and close the open bite. As you can see, it worked, even though I never really wore it. Um, I did wear it, but it was very uncomfortable. Uh, I couldn't eat very well with it or talk. It actually gave me more of a lisp when I had it in. I didn't know that I was supposed to take it out to eat and drink um, like th stuff that isn't water, so I couldn't eat. I was so miserable. I probably lost a lot of weight in those first two weeks because I couldn't eat very much. Then um, I went back to the orthodontist just for like a little re um, a review checkup to see how everything was going, and I told him my problem, and he said, well, you're supposed to take it out, and for some reason, I guess I didn't know that. Um, but then eventually I started taking it out, and it made it feel better. I had this little case um, that I would put it in. I'll see if I can find that just a sec. Here is the case and I didn't only find the case. I actually found My expander. I know how gross it looks, but now I just want to explain to you all of the parts that were in it I don't have to wear this anymore. But yeah, so basically right here there there would be like a little um, place for them to insert a needle to tighten it because if they don't tighten it then it doesn't do its job and then this is the tongue trainer trainer that I was talking about these little silver thingies so I want to focus uh, these little silver things and there's that's what you're supposed to keep your tongue behind putting it back in the case um, before I got my lisp correction done my tongue sat 
at the bottom of my mouth all the time. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to put it at the top of your mouth. Your tongue um, is naturally supposed to rest at the top of your mouth, and that's obviously why I had a lisp. The problem was always that my tongue was too low in my mouth because of the pacifier, because if you're using a pacifier, your tongue's below the pacifier. So you basically, I trained myself for nine years to have my tongue that way. Everyone kept telling me that if I want to see results, it took nine years to do it, like make it this way. It'll take a while to undo the damage you did. Um, I know it's totally not my mom's fault. It was totally my fault that I had my pacifier that long. It was ridiculous. I didn't go out in public with it, but I just, I could have weaned myself off of it and I chose not to. So now I had to pay the consequences. Consequences is even a lispy word. So that expander and tongue trainer that I just showed you, it did fix the actual orthodontic problem. Uh, right here where I had the space in between my teeth. Uh, here's a picture of what it used to look like And now here's a picture of what my smile looks like now So it did do a good job, but it did not fix my lisp because when you're talking your teeth aren't always together I can still open my mouth when I'm talking and do an S sound and it has gotten a lot better And as you can see even now when I'm talking I don't do to say yes, but I used to all the time There are so many videos of me talking. Um, I'll see if I can put one in right now Hey guys, this is just a really quick video. I'm gonna do way more later, but um, I was just gonna tell you that the Live with Five series is canceled. And it basically just shows how bad my lisp used to be and how I would talk with my lisp. My tongue just went right through my teeth. So just up to last year, last year, or maybe even two years ago, I don't really remember, I started going to speech therapy because that's what everyone recommended. Speech therapy, speech therapy, speech therapy. If you wanna correct your lisp, that is exactly how you do it. You go to a speech therapist. So I went to this building and I had this really nice woman help me with my lisp and uh, she's really helpful. She was really helpful. Um, I still do her exercises sometimes when I feel my lisp starting to get worse and it has been recently. She is really nice and if she's, you're watching this video right now you know who you are thank you so much for helping me with my lisp you really helped a lot uh, I just wanted to bring this up and if you're watching this and you have a lisp by the way please like this video if you have a lisp or if you know someone who does and comment down below your experience with having a lisp because I'd love to hear it uh, if you have a lisp you know that kind of judgmental feeling that you kind of cast from everyone there are always like so, like objectifying you kind of they're like say silly sausages and then you say it and they're like they like look at each other knowing that it's the wrong way to say it. It's very just kind of judgmental and I know they're totally not trying to be judgmental but it feels that way to me and probably lots of other kids with lisps and I know that a lot of people probably have way worse lisps but mine has always just been with my tongue and my S and I cannot say my S's properly. Um, I can now but it's still hard for me to kind of control it. So I went to speech therapy for a year and I just recently graduated, but I do feel myself just starting to fall back sometimes. And basically, if you would like to know, speech therapy is where you go and you practice the sounds and they actually give you a little physical layout of what it's supposed to look like when you say your S. Physically, when you say an S, you're supposed to have your tongue touch like the upper part of your mouth right um, behind your teeth. It's not supposed to touch your teeth because it's touching your teeth and it's a lisp. You're supposed to go when you smile, it really helps to say the S properly. You also do a ton of exercises and you practice and you get homework, which is when you go home with exercises and you're supposed to do them. And I graduated from speech therapy uh, just a couple months ago and obviously before quarantine started, actually just around that time, that's when I graduated. And it's because that you, you graduate basically when you can say your S well uh, 90% of the time. So with speech therapy, it's really hard you always feel like you're judged, you're always thinking about it, like, if you have a lisp, you know what I mean, but the, now, now I want to talk about what it's like to be an actress with a lisp. So when I was younger, obviously, my lisp was very apparent and it was always there, and so if I, I could never play older than I actually was with auditions, they always sent me for younger roles or just my age, I could never go up and beyond, like, it's it really just interferes because it makes you seem younger than you actually are. And even now it makes me seem younger than I actually am because I still do have a slight lisp, it isn't perfect. It's only, I'd say like 90% perfect, sometimes even eight, just only 80% perfect. On some days, well, it's only halfway perfect. So I miss out on a lot of roles for older teens and older, like, I'm a teen actor, so I miss out on a lot of really older teen um, roles that I could get if I didn't have this lisp, so it really interferes. And a lot of people, it's genetic that they have a lisp, or it's just trained, it's not because of a pacifier. It's, I feel bad all the time because I feel like it's my fault because I had the pacifier. If I never had a pacifier, uh, then I would have never gotten this lisp.
it's just really tough to be in this industry and you see all these uh, like teen actors who can talk perfectly, perfect S's, perfect syllables and sounds, and then here you are just with a lisp and it's hard. And I don't know if you guys notice, also comment down below if you guys notice my lisp when I'm like not trying to do the lisp just to show you for the purposes of this video. I am currently still working on my lisp and I am trying to correct it, to train my tongue, that's what they call it, training your tongue. Um, to do the S properly because it's all in your tongue. Uh, you, when you're doing speech therapy training, you're also working on your Z sound. Um, so Z, because it's the exact same place as an S, you just use your vocal cords more. That's pretty much it. That's my experience with a lisp. I am currently still working on my speech training and I'm doing exercises to say the S properly and it's just been really hard and I hope that you learned something from this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, again, please like and comment if you have had an experience with a lisp. Also share this video with your friends. It's very informational, I hope it was. I also hope you liked watching it, liked hearing my story, you learned something from this. Um, just please subscribe to my channel, that would really mean so much to me. Um, and also please go follow my Instagram, um, and here is my username for channel updates and comments if they are disabled on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you guys. Bye!